Here, we have listed 10 new Windows 11 features. Forget everything let's jump into the video. Let's start with the, the basic requirements for installing Windows 11 on a PC. Processor. 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores on a compatible 64-bit processor or system on a chip. RAM. 4 GB. Storage. 64 GB or larger storage device. System firmware. UEFI, secure boot capable. TPM. Trusted platform module version 2.0. Graphics card. Compatible with DirectX 12 or later with WDDM 2.0 driver. Display. High definition display that is greater than 9 inch diagonally and 8 bits per color channel. Internet connection and Microsoft accounts. Windows 11 Home Edition requires internet connectivity and a Microsoft account to complete device setup on first use. Number 2. Windows 11 Widgets. It's interesting to see how much Microsoft is indulged in mobile-driven design for its next-gen desktop OS. With Windows 11, Microsoft has brought widgets, where you can find all kinds of information with just a click. It's similar to Google Assistant Snapshot and the Today View in Apple's iOS 15 or macOS Monterey. You can check out the latest news, your personal photos pulled from OneDrive, sports scores, stock prices, and much more. Number 3. Snap Layout and Other New Multitasking Features Snapping was already great on Windows 10, but Microsoft has taken it a notch further with easier Snap Assist. This new feature is called Snap Layouts. Now, when you hover your mouse pointer over a Windows Maximize button, you will find various layouts for how you want to position the window. You can also invoke the Snap Layout option with the Win plus Z Windows Keyboard Shortcut. If you use a large monitor, this will help maximize your productivity. Number 4. Faster Windows Updates. Yes, you read that right. With Windows 11, you will have a much faster Windows update process, thanks to the background installation mechanism. Microsoft has promised that Windows updates will now be 40% smaller, making the process even more efficient. Not to mention, if an update installation is pending while restarting your computer, it will show you the estimated time required to complete the update. This nifty addition will save you time and hassle. Number 5. New Microsoft Store. The newly designed Microsoft Store is another great new feature of Windows 11. It's built from the ground up and now supports Win32.net, UWP, Xamarin, Electron, React Native, Java, and even progressive web apps. You can even find themes and extensions for Microsoft Edge on the new Microsoft Store. Frankly, I have never been a fan of Microsoft Store because of the sluggish and janky experience in the past, but the new one truly looks great. One thing to note in the current build is that you still can't view the last updated date of an app. Now number 6. Universal Media Control. Yeah, you can now control all your media playback from the new Action Center on Windows 11. No matter if you are playing a YouTube video, Spotify playlist, a Twitter clip, or a local video, everything shows up in the Action Center. Note that I tried playing a video with VLC, but it didn't show up. However, when I played the same local video through the native films and TV app, it worked flawlessly. So yeah, universal media control is another neat feature in Windows 11. Number 7. Modern File Explorer. The File Explorer on Windows has been a major point of contention among Windows users. Diehard fans have disapproved of any change to the File Explorer, stating why change something if it works perfectly well. That said, it indeed needed a modern makeover, and I am happy to report that the new File Explorer is functional and has all the features you need. You now have colorful new icons, a new context menu, and a command bar up top, which replaces the existing ribbon menu bar. Number 8. 
New Start Menu. Of all the new Windows 11 features, the new launcher-style floating start menu is the most distinctive part of Microsoft's next-gen desktop OS. Unlike the traditional start menu, the new start, as Microsoft is calling it, sits right at the center of the taskbar. It has a flyout design with pinned and recommended apps accompanying each other. So far in my usage, the recommendations are pretty good. It quickly offers me access to documents, photos, and apps I have recently installed. Now step into second last feature which is gesture. Gestures have long been part of Windows 10, but frankly speaking, they were not very smooth, and the transitions between apps and virtual desktops were awful. With the new advanced gesture controls and mandatory precision touchpad requirement for Windows 11, things might get better. Now, you can customize three-finger and four-finger swipes according to your preference. Last but not the least. If you're a gamer, Windows 11 is made for you. Gaming has always been fundamental to what Windows is all about. Today, hundreds of millions of people around the world game on Windows and find joy and connection with loved ones and friends through play. Windows 11 unlocks the full potential of your system's hardware, putting some of the latest gaming technology to work for you. Like DirectX 12 Ultimate, Direct Storage and Auto HDR for a wider, more vivid range of colors for a truly captivating visual experience.